Hey, what's up guys? So Uniden just released Mac update software for the R1 and the R3. So finally, for all of you Mac users, we no longer have to find a computer running Windows or install Windows on our Mac. Uh, we can just download the Mac update software directly and uh, update our detectors. Uh, now in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the process and show you what all is involved. Uh, basically, you can see we gotta download the software. We're gonna need to uh, install the update software itself, uh, the USB drivers themselves, so the computer can communicate with and see the detector, and then if we're going to need to do uh, some security stuff to give permission for the update software to be installed. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the whole process. Uh, also, if you need the uh, the USB update cable, I'll put that link in the video description. Uh, and then, of course, the links to the detectors themselves, as well as where you go to download the update software. Uh, now, when you go to the, uh, the link right here that I'm going to send you to, uh, it's going to send you up here to the top of the page. And you're going to want to scroll down and click on this gray button here that says firmware. And then it'll bring you here uh, with the link to where you can go and download the update software. Now, before you do this, if you want to check what version of the software that you're currently running, uh, in the detector, hit the menu button and then scroll left a few times with the volume down button and it'll show you the current firmware version that you have installed in your detector. Then when you come to the website here, you can take a look and see what the current firmware is. So you can see I've got 1.37 installed on my detector and 1.37 is the current version. And so I don't need to update, but nevertheless, when updates are available, uh, here is what the update process is like. So in any event, let's go ahead and download the update software and we'll fire it up like this. Perfect, so inside here, uh, we'll go ahead and open the folder, and we've got a couple things in here. We've got uh, the update software itself, as well as the drivers. So let's start with the drivers to make sure the computer knows how to talk to the detector. We'll open this up, here's the drivers, and let's install them. Hit agree. Go ahead and launch this. Perfect, and let's continue and install. Type in your password if needed. Perfect, and it may take a minute or so to install the drivers, but once you're done, you'll be here. Go ahead and close this, and uh, don't move to trash. Yeah, we don't need that installer anymore, so we'll close out of this. And then the next thing, of course, is gonna be to install the update software itself, so we'll do that next. Okay, so here is one of the uh, issues that we'll run into. It says that our security preferences does not allow the software to be installed, and so uh, we're gonna need to give permission to our computer to install this software. So we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna go up here to the Mac button, and then to uh, system preferences. Next, we're gonna wanna go over here to security and privacy. And then you'll notice down here, it says it was blocked because it's not uh, from an identified developer. And so we're gonna wanna tell it to open the software anyways. Are you sure? and then we're gonna say yes, open it anyways. Then we'll go back over here and relaunch the software and you'll notice now it's gonna open successfully. Awesome. We'll hit continue and install the software. And it's installed. Move to trash, okay. We don't need the installer anymore either, perfect. We'll close this. And now if we go over to our applications, you'll see there's an option now here for the uh, the unit in our series firmware update tool. So we'll go ahead and open this. And this drops us into the update software. Now I've got my uh, R3 plugged into the computer right now and you'll notice uh, we can click read version but it went ahead and loaded the R3's current version uh, and at this time I have 1.31 loaded onto this detector. But we're gonna wanna go ahead and update to 1.37 which is the latest version of the firmware. Now a quick note, when you plug your detector into the computer you'll notice that the display does not turn on. Uh, this is totally normal, it's not supposed to so don't worry about that. Uh, the display is not gonna power on but the detector can still communicate with your computer. So we're going to click open. We've got a button here now for downloads, Mac update software, perfect. And we can uh, pull up the R3 software. If you have the R1, select the R1. You can see it's firmware 1.37. If you have the R3, select 1.37 for the R3. Then hit open. And you can see we've got 1.37 is what we're going to be loading. 1.31 is what's currently on the detector. And now let's hit start download. And it's going to go ahead and start uh, transferring over the new firmware to our detector.
Perfect. And when it's done, you get uh, this successfully completed download completed notice. We hit OK. And then we can close it and we are all done with our update. So pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, again, then once you're done, you're going to want to go in and power up your detector normally and reprogram all the different settings uh, the way that you want. Uh, it's usually recommended to do a factory reset after updating the detector and then go in and uh, reprogram all the settings. Uh, I've got a video that teaches you all the different settings and options and I have some information on my website. And I'll link you to both of those as well so that you can get your detector programmed the way that you need. So awesome. Links to everything that you need down in the video description. Uh, and a big thanks to Uniden for finally releasing the Mac update software for the R1 and the R3. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.